Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from San Cisco. This is their DS350 Dual Lens 1080p Professional Industrial Endoscope, and you can pick it up on Amazon. At the time of this review, for $85.99, uh, they will be supplying me with a code, the coupon code that I will have in the description below, to bring the price down uh, by quite a bit. So take a look at that as well. If you're looking for an industrial endoscope, we're going to dig into this one right now, show you the features, and see if it's of what you're looking for. Okay, so once you get everything out of the box, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get the main endoscope uh, itself, obviously, and then you're going to get, of course, some literature for the DS350DL. Uh, it does it come in multiple languages. It is well laid out, and it uh, does have print that is big enough to read without busting out a microscope. So that is always a good thing as well. Now, it's going to show you all your button assignments here, uh, which I'm going to go over most of those in this review. Uh, and some of the specifications that I will also cover as well uh, so that you have all of that uh, that you know. But you can freeze this and go back to it if you need something that I may have missed in the review and hold on to that just in case you need it. Now they do give you some uh, additional tips here to add to the end of the endoscope uh, and most uh, manufacturers do. That uh, comes with a hook and a magnet. Uh, these are great for uh, if you're working on a car or something like that uh, and you drop a nut or a bolt somewhere and you need to get that out, you can use that uh, magnet to do that. And the same thing with the hook. Uh, so it's always good to have those and most endoscopes uh, will come with these for you. Now you do get a charge cable here and this is a standard USB to micro USB charge cable. Uh, it has a rechargeable battery in it and you will get up to four hours of constant usage out of this before it needs to be recharged. Uh, and you can recharge this uh, via any uh, USB on your laptop or your PC or you can use your phone or tablets uh, AC to uh, USB adapter to uh, charge this as well. So let's take a look at the main endoscope. Now, of course, you're going to get a semi-rigid 16 and a half foot cable. So that's how long the cable is on this. 16 and a half feet of cabling uh, for you to utilize. It's IP67 uh, waterproof, the cable and the probe, not the main unit. So try not to get the main unit uh, submerged in water, but you can, of course, submerge the probe itself. It's got a dual 1080p lenses uh, with one LED on the side lens and six on the main lens. Now, if we look at the main unit itself, a 4.3 inch 1080p TFT display. You've got a power button on the left hand side. On the bottom, you've got a reset hole in the middle there. You do have a pre installed 32 gigabyte micro SD card slot as well uh, so that you can store images and movies. Uh, these movies will be stored as .avi files and images as .jpg files. You do have your micro, S, uh, sorry, micro USB port for a powering or recharging the unit, I should say. Uh, again, it's IP67 uh, waterproof for the probe, uh, but not for the main unit. So be careful about submerging the main unit in water. Let's turn this on and show you guys exactly uh, what happens once we get this up and running. Okay, so once you got everything going here, you can see it's got a nice clean image of a Doctor Strange there. Now your best focal distance for the front camera is gonna be three to eight centimeters and the side camera is gonna be two to six centimeters. Uh, you can get a little bit closer with that side camera. I'll show you that in just a few moments. Now you can see that I can flip the image by holding the minus button down as a long press. And if I do short presses, it's going to lower the LED brightness. So if you short press the, the plus button, um, you're going to step up the LED brightness. And if you short press the minus button, uh, it will go all the way to off. So we've got three levels of brightness here by just short pressing that plus button. And then, of course, all the way to off if we short press the uh, minus button. 
Uh, you do have two buttons in the middle. One is for taking still pictures on the right and video on the left. So I can start a video just by hitting that button on the left there. Uh, and also holding down the button will also default to videos as well. So right now I am recording a video. Well, let's talk about actually getting in to the gallery real quick to uh, take a look at any videos or pictures that you took. Okay, so to get into the gallery uh, so that you can see the pictures and videos you took, all you have to do is hold down the OK button for about two to three seconds, and you're going to see that movie files will, or video files, the AVI files, they will show up as MOV, and you can use the plus and minus buttons to move through the things that you've captured. Now, photos will be in PH. Uh, and they are JPEG files or JPG files. Uh, and again, you can use the plus and uh, minus arrows at or buttons at the top to move through uh, each one that you had. And you can see that this captures really, really well, uh, even on a, you know something as uh, easy. Uh, and even further away, you can see that I can read text. I can do things like that. Uh, you can see that if you have a movie here and say you want to delete one of these, you just hit the menu button while you're on the image and it'll give you an option to delete or to delete all. Uh, it'll tell you what resolution you're running in and everything like that. So if I want to delete it, I can use the plus and minus buttons to go up to OK and then just hit OK and it will delete that file and then that other file that I was just on is now deleted. So pretty simple to cycle through these, uh, pick ones that you want to delete, uh, and that is uh, pretty much it. And then you have a nice uh, crisp image of something that you may want to look at, be it you know damage or an area that you're working on in uh, plumbing or uh, automotive or whatever that you're doing. Now, if you want to get into the main menu, all you have to do is hit the menu button. It's super simple to do that. Uh, and here you've got a bunch of different things that you can adjust, of course, uh, with this, starting out with resolution. Now, it defaults to 1080p, but you can set it to 720p if you don't need uh, higher resolution or you want to save uh, space on your SD card. You can use the plus and minus buttons to uh, adjust th through languages. It's got several different languages. Auto power off as well, 15 minutes or 30 minutes. If you uh, forget to turn it off that way in 15 minutes uh, of not using it, it will shut off. You can format the SD card. You can reset all the system settings. You can go into time settings as well. Uh, and this is where you'll set your date and your time. Uh, if you do want to use timestamps, you can do that as well. And then you will have all of that there. And you can cycle through all of those, switch them uh, so that you can uh, have the correct date and time, of course, uh, for what you need to do here. Uh, and then you have how much space is left on your uh, included uh, 32 gigabyte card. And of course, you can put your own uh, card in there as well. And then the version of the software that you are using on your device. So let's take a look at the side camera as well as the main camera in this paper towel tube, which I like to use in the office instead of taking this out to a car or somewhere like that. A little bit more comfortable for me to use in an office setting. You can see that the uh, main camera works pretty good here, but if I want to get something on the side view, I just have to hold down the plus button there uh, for about two seconds. It'll switch over to the side version, and you can see that on the side camera with that focal length of two centimeters to six centimeters, I can get uh, very close up on the sides of the paper towel tube, and I can even look at the serial number that's in there if I need to, and then once I have that serial number, I can snap a picture of it uh, or take a video and have that number if I need it. So you can see that it comes up pretty clear there, uh, no problems whatsoever. So who is this endoscope for? This endoscope is pretty much for anybody, to be honest, that needs it, a dual lens endoscope. Uh, you've got a nice 16 and a half foot cable that is IP67 waterproofed. So plumbers can use this. Uh, people that work in HVAC can use this. Uh, people that work in uh, auto repair will definitely get use out of this. Uh, if you are maybe uh, doing uh, work inside walls and you need to look inside walls, you can use that as well. And just general use for a, an endoscope will work just fine. So San Cisco did a great job with this endoscope, especially at the price point and be on the lookout in the product description or the video description of 
a uh, coupon that they will supply to me so that you guys can save even more off the already pretty decent price for this endoscope. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Remember to like, and if you guys not have not subscribed yet, please do so, because that always helps me out. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.